Hey everyone, Casey here, and it has been awesome to hear from so many people about how my method for creating custom GPTs to automate any process is saving you all a bunch of time and helping you to do things you didn't even know were possible before. So keep the comments coming. I love to hear it. Recently, I've had another major breakthrough in this area, and I'm really excited to share this with you as I'm sure it will help you turn these custom GPTs into even more powerful automation systems. Just to refresh your memory, in the video Automate Any Process, I shared with you a four step framework for building custom GPTs to, well, automate any process. And today I want to take that a step further. This is part two in that series where I want to dive into showing you how to automatically create very effective prompt sequences. Previously, this was the trickiest and most manual part of the process. And in my recent work, I've figured out some great ways to automate this and improve it. But that's not all. I also want to introduce you to a bunch of new prompts and strategies for improving every aspect of your custom GPTs. This includes advanced techniques for documenting the processes you want to automate, as well as methods for optimizing the AI instructions. I'll also be sharing a few hand-picked resources on business process design with you. And with a little creativity, I have no doubt that you'll be able to start generating revenue with these tools very soon. If you want to follow along, I've created a detailed cheat sheet with all of the prompts, the instructions, and the resources that I'm going to be mentioning today. This is available to my Patreon supporters. There's a link to that in the description. When you join my Patreon, you automatically get access to not only that, but over 70 other cheat sheets just like it. A lot of people describe these to me as recipe books where they're taking and picking different prompts from different cheat sheets and using that to personalize their own AI processes. I also have some coaching options available to my Patreon supporters as well. So if you're getting something out of these videos, please check it out. These are the basic four steps for taking any process and turning it into a custom GPT. It starts with documenting your process. We're going to get into some really cool ways to use AI to actually help us do that, which was not included in the last video. But from there, we want to create the prompt sequence. And this was the major breakthrough I had recently was being able to use AI to actually create these prompt sequences effectively. This will be helpful for this as well as in a lot of other uh, interactions that you have with the large language models with these different AI systems. And from there, we're a little bit off to the races where we can then just create our GPT instructions. And I have a bot that automatically does that. I'll show you that. Then we're off to testing and deploying. So let me show you how to do this. Let's dive into the cheat sheet. This was a video I was really excited to make as I have been working with a lot of people and hearing a lot about how these custom GPTs are working. So I really went in depth here on this guide and added a lot of stuff. We're going to be covering a lot of it today. There's a lot in here that we won't be able to get to but it goes through the four step process. And then now if you don't have any process documented, as many people don't, I can speak for myself there. We can use the large language model to actually create the basic process for us. So this prompt here, please create a step by step process for, and then you describe the problem that you're trying to solve or what you're trying to achieve and add in here. Here's a little bit about my situation specifically your experience in that area and your level of detail in this process. So this prompt has been working really well. I've got a couple examples here. This is the one we're going to dive deep into today. Some grocery shopping. I created a process for that, which is super helpful. Let me show you how this works. So I am just going to copy and paste this. That's why I love these cheat sheets and a lot of the folks that I work with are using them as these different recipe books where they can just copy from here right into these large language models. So for creating the process, it's hard to beat Gemini. Uh, it can work well in ChatGPT, um, less so I would say in Claude. Gemini is great for this. So the first couple steps of, of this is going to be, I'm going to be using Gemini and then we'll be diving into ChatGPT when we're creating the custom GPTs. So I'm just going to put this in here about creating a step-by-step -step process for grocery shopping. Let's let that run a little bit. So here's what it came back with. Step one, self-assessing and goal setting. Remember this from maybe some of my other videos. Step two, meal planning. So grocery shopping starts with planning out your meals, of course and it recommends some resources for that creating your grocery list so yeah pretty solid process here officially efficient grocery shopping uh, suitable times etc home and meal prep so this is what i love gemini for it always over delivers with your requests so sometimes chat gpt will add a little bit of 
extra intro paragraph and a conclusion paragraph that isn't always that necessary. Gemini A never does that, but instead of doing that, it will think outside of the box of some things related to your request that you might want to know. I think it's done that here. All right, so we've gone now from the process documentation to the all important prompt sequence. And this is the killer prompt that I really wanted to share with you today. Can you help me create a process that allows a user to interact with an LLM to work through the following? So that alone works pretty well. So just telling it, hey, I want to take this process and interact with an LLM. You can use this not only here, but whenever you're interacting with these AI systems and they start telling you to do stuff like go to the library or do this or do that, you can think to yourself, wait a minute, you're a very powerful AI. How do I interact with you to get this done? Let's work together, let's collaborate on this. And from there, you can get a lot more out of these large language models just by uh, asking it to interact or to collaborate with you on any specific process. So again, if it's telling you stuff to do, you know, oftentimes ChatGPT will list out a bunch of steps. You can push it a lot farther if you say, hey, let's collaborate on these steps, or can you help me create a process that will allow a user to interact with an LLM through these. I added this second sentence here later after a lot of trial and error and it doesn't always follow this but it is helpful to add this here because sometimes when you ask it to take your process and to uh, create something that um, the user can interact with an LLM it will start talking you through designing software which is not quite what we want so that sentence is helpful there let me show you how this works i'm just going to copy and paste this straight out of the cheat sheet back into gemini here i found that it is helpful to start a new chat string you would think you could just create this from the um when it outlines the process that you could just add this in and create the prompt sequence next for whatever reason it doesn't work that well it works much better if you start a new chat string i'm just going to drop that in here and i'm going to copy and paste this process all these steps that it came up with there's oftentimes I'll omit certain steps that I know I just don't want to be part of the custom GPT so uh, you can edit this obviously but I would really just think about uh, omitting certain things that's what I've been doing copy this drop this back in with that prompt let that run and here's what we have it gives you overall process structure how to integrate the large language model and then the detailed process breakdown so self-assessment and goal setting. This is now, these, this has been working very well as the basics of our prompt sequence. You can look at how it shows the LLM interacting, LLM interacting for the meal planning, LLM interaction for the grocery lists, and then the grocery shopping itself. So now that brings us to from this prompt sequence into creating these GPT instructions. In the previous video, I talk a lot about how to do that manually, but now I've been using the automated version. That is this custom GPT that I created for taking the prompt sequence and turning that into instructions works really well. And there's a link to this in that previous introductory part one video. Also, there's a link to this in the cheat sheet as well. So now I'm just grabbing this prompt sequence that we've automatically created in Gemini, copying this into my automate any process instructions generator. Let that puppy run. And that has converted the prompt sequence now into our instructions. Now we just need to take these instructions and build our bot. So I'm copying and pasting these and I'll show you exactly how to get to this. You go to explore GPTs, create, stay on this configure tab. I've added a logo, I've given it a name, given it a description, and then I have dropped in those instructions. I like just this let's begin conversation starter because that's how a lot of these work well is if you let the LLM basically request the information. I'm not gonna upload any files. I'm gonna keep web browsing on. I rarely use web browsing with these custom GPTs, but I guess I've gotten a habit of leaving it on. Uh, and then we just update this and we'll take it for a test drive. So here is the string I have put in here and I didn't really have to edit this one at all. It just worked well. I think there are many times where you do need to tweak the instructions a little bit as you test it. But this one worked right out of the gate. I said, let's begin. Great to get started, share any dietary restrictions, health goals, etc. 
I've recently had some issues with my digestion, so this was especially timely. And this can also be helpful. I know grocery shopping can be really difficult for folks, you know, if you have different intolerances, uh, if your family has a lot of different preferences. I think this can help you streamline all that. Or if you're, you know, shopping for visitors, etc., you don't know exactly how to shop for their diets. This GPT can be really helpful, I think. I have a link to this GPT in the cheat sheet as well if you want to check it out. So I just put in here, I have some, you know, pretty specific issues I'm dealing with that I want to do grocery shopping this week. It starts to ask me about dietary recommendations from the doctor, dietitian, foods to avoid, etc. Truth be told, I took these questions and put them back into Gemini and asked it, you know, how to best answer these questions for my situation. Uh, I copied those right in here. I got to be honest, I'm getting a little lazy <laughs> with how helpful these bots are. So after I added a little bit more detail, it just goes off to the races, starts giving me some uh, meals that uh, work with uh, this diet. And honestly, I just had some of this stuff and it is making me feel better already. So technology at work, folks. It is asking us if we want to modify any of these meals, but it looked good to me. So all I had to do was just enter, please proceed. It generated the list here. And then it asked me, do you have some of these already? I said, yes, I have oatmeal and cinnamon already. Now it pulled together the shopping list, which was awesome. But, you know, I try to be an organized person and I was like hoping that it would arrange it by department of the grocery store. And it's sure enough, exactly did that starting with the produce section, protein section, dairy section. And then there are even more steps that you can go through choosing the freshest produce, best cuts of meat, other things here. So I was really happy with how this turned out. And this was all completely automated. I was able to go through all of these processes almost entirely automatically, especially this prompt sequence, which used to be done manually. Uh, the process documentation I used to do manually, just starting with this basic concept, very basic idea to something that I'm frankly pretty proud of and that I'll be using on a weekly basis. And this is as powerful as many software tools out there. So you can really think of ways to start building these and charging people for them, putting them behind certain paywalls. These tools are very valuable to folks. So just because they're easy to make, don't underestimate the value that they may bring to you, to your family, to your community, and potentially to uh, becoming part of your profession or part of uh, a revenue stream for you. So again, I have a link to the grocery uh, bot that I made. There's a video with more details, etc. This is a link to that previous video. Uh, and I'll put that in the description as well uh, that shows you a little bit more about how to create the custom instructions. I've also included in here the actual instructions for this grocery shopping bot and some ideas on process enhancement. So there is a lot to this. I've been diving more and more about into process automation and found a lot of different ways that you know once you've documented that process thinking about how you can improve it so maybe it's a process you've been doing you know over and over and haven't really thought about how you might be able to optimize it these are some processes these are some prompts rather that can help you break out of any ruts and improve uh, the efficiency of your processes um, identifying bottlenecks I'll just scroll kind of quickly here. I'm not going to read through all of these, but process improvement, creative problem solving, and user experience enhancement could be some powerful ways to improve your custom GPTs. Now a handful of resources along the same lines. I went deep into this, so there's some really cool stuff here. Obviously, if you want to grab the cheat sheet, there's links, but uh, I understand if that's not an option for you, you can just grab a screenshot and Google some of this stuff. Again, I'll go fairly slowly here. I've got some business process design resources. I've got some sales process design. I know a lot of folks are in sales and marketing. So here's some things you might want to look into for sales process design, as well as marketing process design. So again, there's a lot in the cheat sheet. I would encourage you to experiment with some of those process improvement prompts and looking at bottlenecks and things like that. Again, that's available to my Patreon supporters, uh, along with over 70 
uh, cheat sheets more and more coming each week. I've also got some coaching options in there, but I appreciate you watching. Let me know if there's anything that you got lost on, any questions I can answer. I'd love to know what you're working on, what I can help with. Some of my best videos have come from uh, comments. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you're up to. And obviously I love it if you can subscribe or hit the like and I'll see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true.